We left off in the last video by connecting all the UI elements to the UI Manager script. Before looking at the code in this project in detail, we're going to first just briefly take a look at how the scripts work together to achieve the goal of updating our error content from the AWS S3 server. Functionality has been separated into five scripts. The UI Manager handles button presses to capture user selection of what content changes should be made to the AR Flavor Extract bottle shown in the iOS AR app. The UI Manager also displays messages to the users, letting them know when the content has been changed and updated on AWS. The Game Manager serves as a blackboard that holds shared variables used across multiple scripts. There are other ways to handle this that could arguably be more elegant, but for our purposes here, the blackboard approach works fine. The File Manager controls reading, writing, and executing files in the file system. It will write the name of the flavor extract bottle to a simple text file. The name is what was selected through the UI Manager. The File Manager will also call a batch file that runs an editor script in another Unity project file. This editor script handles all the recreating of prefab content and addressable setup based on the name of the flavor extract bottle written to the simple text file. The server data file monitor watches the server data folder in the other Unity project file that is called by the batch script. Once the addressable data is rebuilt, the server data folder is updated with the new files that need to be uploaded to AWS. The server data file monitor sets a flag in this application after the server data folder has been updated with new files. The flag that is set is used by the AWS manager to know when it's time to update the AWS in the cloud. The AWS manager contains the API calls to AWS S3 that allows this app to update the addressable objects in the S3 bucket with the latest addressable files created in the server data folder. The AWS manager activates the upload process according to the value of the flag that is set by the server data file monitor. Now that we have an intuition for how this app works at a high level, let's dive into the details of the code script by script. Here we are in the UI manager script. First, we get a reference to the file manager and cache it in the awake method. Next, we expose button and game object variables so we can connect them to the UI elements in the editor something we already did in the last tutorial. The enable AWS op buttons boolean is used to toggle the two buttons that are used as utilities to test AWS deleting and uploading. We set up the content button handlers on click event in the start method. The button handlers for the two utility buttons will be set up in the editor as the handler code for these buttons is located in the AWS manager. Structurally, this is probably not the best way to set up UI handling in general, given that the button handlers are not all in one place. But again, please think of this project as a sketch to get you up and running with the project goal. You're encouraged to clean up, refactor, optimize this code for your production needs. The toggle AWS util op buttons works exactly how the method is named. Much of the rest of the code is also self-explanatory. The methods that handle the display messages and the blinking animation are used by the AWS manager to let the user know when the files have been uploaded to AWS. Let's take a look at one of the button handler methods, button change to vanilla on click. You can see that these button handlers call two methods from the file manager script, save texture flag to file and access coroutine call batch file. Save texture flag to file passes a string argument, which is the flavor name of the extract bottle to change that is stored in a text file on the hard drive. Access coroutine call batch file does exactly what it says. In the file manager, it calls a coroutine, which initiates the call to the batch file on the hard drive. We'll now continue our review in the file manager script. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next part of this tutorial becomes available.